Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Today I work. I go in at 8, so I woke up about 6.15 just to give myself some time to have breakfast and coffee and get ready, take a shower, all the good things. But I'm experimenting with my coffee today. Um, I had showed y'all last time that I found peppermint mocha, and this by itself doesn't have a ton of flavor. So I said if I could find a peppermint coffee, maybe that would work. So we're going to try this candy cane coffee with two to three tablespoons of this and a scoop of my Ovacetol. And let's see how this is. Pretty good. But adding that candy cane coffee did make this something where I'll actually drink this uh, before I wasn't gonna finish this with how it tasted. So it's, it's pretty good. Would I buy it all again? Maybe, especially if I added those that um, hot cocoa mix in here. I think it'll be really good dessert coffee. Do you do that with some extra strong coffee and some Cool Whip, Ready Whip, whatever you wanna call it? That'd be good. All right, I'm gonna start a crock pot meal before I go to work. Um, but first, I'm just gonna drink my first cup of coffee. With my second cup of coffee, I'll have breakfast and we'll go from there. Because uh, I woke up early so that I could chill, you know what I mean? Like if I'm not in bed, I want to be basically in bed, but awake, kind of. You, you know what I mean. I'm about to go get ready for work and I went ahead and threw my food in the crock pot. This was one of the ones I had in the freezer that I put together with you in one of my last videos. So this is just one pound of pork loin, has a fourth cup of salsa, a fourth cup of a brown sugar substitute, and a fourth cup of Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar all in there. And we're gonna cook it low and slow. Uh, for 10 hours. After I shred it, for me, I'll turn this into a salad, but we'll see what my husband wants. He might, he might want tacos, he might want salad, we'll see. I waited to be hungry uh, to eat breakfast and I just never got hungry. So I'm gonna eat a built bar on my way to work since it's super convenient. Um, this is probably a four point bar. Uh, I have leftover pinto beans and cauliflower rice and jasmine rice that I ate in my last what I eat in a day. It's just the last serving of that. So that is my snack, my lunch. And then for my first snack, I'm going to have this breakfast bowl I made in my last video. Um, it's just too much food for me to have first thing in the morning. I'm not super hungry. So something like this works better for my stomach. Uh, but my first snack in two hours, I will be hungry and this will be great. So I'll just be in the, in the break room today. Uh, so we'll try to get some footage of that. Other than that, I'm going to take some water and then I'll have a snack probably when I get home. I don't think I'm going to take a snack for my second break. This should be plenty of food. So off to work we go. For my first break, I ate this breakfast scramble and I do like it better with shredded potatoes rather than the diced ones. But honestly, it's just not really for me. You know, I'm just not a super savory breakfast fan. I did cut watermelon that day and we had a beautiful one. So I bought watermelon to have throughout the day. It is lunchtime. I have my pinto beans, half a cup of jasmine rice, half a cup of cauliflower. Uh, like I said, it's the same one I listed the last time. So I'm gonna eat that. And then I went ahead and bought watermelon at work because I was cutting the watermelon and I opened one and it was like the angels saying, it was like, oh, it was so red and delicious looking. So I'm like, I'm gonna get me some of that. So I'm gonna eat some of this as well for zero points. So it's four points total for lunch. I also brought this because sometimes you need caffeine in the middle of the afternoon, am I right? All right, see you on the flip side. Got home and I'm gonna check. I just got home and I'm gonna check on this. I'm a little, I've been worried about this all day, y'all. Oh no, does it look like it's burnt? I can't tell. Well, it's still shreddy. What about you? Are you burnt? Are you extra glazy? Well, I mean, I guess I committed there. Just shoved my pork in it. All right. Let's give this a shred and a taste. Here it is. I ended up, uh, after I shred it, just tossed it in the crock pot and tossed it around with all the caramelized goodness that was in there. This original recipe was for three pounds of pork, but I only had one pound in my freezer. So I made it 
a lot less than it's supposed to have. I think if you had more sauce and stuff like you're supposed to, it wouldn't have gotten as dark, but I tried it and it didn't taste burnt. It just tastes very caramelized. So we're gonna give it a try. Okay, good. Mm. It is very interesting. It tastes sweet. And then you can also taste, because I used a medium salsa, you can taste the heat in it as well. This is a recipe from the Six Sister stuff. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't salt it. And I forgot that I didn't salt it. So I'm going to add salt to that. I think after with some salt, that's going to be banging. Um, but this is a Six Sister stuff recipe. It's from, uh, it's like a copycat version of, I think there's a place called Cafe Rio in Utah. Uh, that's really popular. And this is supposed to be like a riff off of their sweet pork. So you can do all sorts of things with it. You can make quesadillas, tacos. I'm sure there's other things, but my mind just went blank. Uh, but she specifically talked about doing this particular salad that she likes to get from Cafe Rio. So that's what I'm going to recreate. But she says you put a tortilla at the bottom of your bowl and then layer it up with all this stuff. I mean, that just seems weird to me because how do you eat the tortilla? You know, like, you just like eat all the stuff off of it and then eat the soggy tortilla at the end? Like, how does that work? I'm just, you know, asking for a friend. Um, so I decided instead of doing that, I'm gonna use my little one point tortilla, cut it up into little strips, a little, add a little spray on it and put it in the air fryer and see if I can make like little tortilla croutons out of it to have this sweet pork sal salad. I'm not gonna actually make this in the recipe on Weight Watchers because I used all zero point foods except for the pork. So all I'm gonna do is weigh out my pork and log it as a cooked pork loin because that's exactly what it is. The salsa, the brown sugar substitute, and the Coke Zero or Dr. Pepper Zero, that's all zero points. So I'm not gonna waste my time doing that because I don't like to have to put the servings in, but every time you do it, it's gonna be a different amount of servings. You might want different amounts. Like some people might want two ounces, some people might want four ounces, you know, it's just whatever. Um, but let's see if this little tortilla hack works and also just ignore the fact that I had to put like a little zit guy right there because I got a little new friend trying to pop up and he's irritating me. And if I don't put this sticker there, I will pick at it and I'll make a little problem a big problem. You know what I mean? So a lot to say, let's cut up some tortillas. So just cut it up into pieces, sprayed it with some spray oil, and then added a little bit of sea salt. And I'm just, I'm just making this up, y'all. So let's do it for like three minutes and check on it. And I need it to beep at me or else I will forget. I think they need like one or two more minutes. They're getting there. I've heard have people ask me about this air fryer. It's from Simple Living, this is the extra large one, and I got it on Amazon so many years ago, I don't even know if they make it anymore, but just, just in case you're wondering. Let's see how it is. Do you hear that? Oh yeah. These are good. I should make nachos out of these. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that before too long. So I have uh, like a bag of cilantro lime rice that I just warmed up. I also warmed up some black beans and some corn. All of this is going to be on my salad as well as the cilantro avocado dressing. You can also use salsa if you'd rather have a zero point option. Salsa is great. Uh, but I wanted to like, you know, add a little something, something. So this is, I think, tortilla is one point. Black beans, lettuce, all that is zero points. I'm going to have four points worth of pork. So that's five points, six, seven for my cilantro. And then I'm gonna add one point worth of the rice. So it'll be an eight point dinner total. Man, I'm, I'm real good at math, can't you tell? It took me like 20 minutes to add up eight points. This is the only cilantro lime rice that my store carried. So I got this uh, for 27 grams is one point. So I just want enough to have the flavor. Um, you could also do lime, you could do avocado, you could do cheese add whatever your heart desires. This is just what I'm doing to keep it reasonable points and adding the points where I think it matters most. 
uh, with all these things, I don't think I need cheese, but having a little bit of that bite of the cilantro and the lime on the rice, that sounds worth it to me. So make it your own, choose your own adventure here. Just a quick reminder that all of these what I eat in a days are just like a little glimpse into how I eat. I've lost 40 pounds and people have asked how to, like, how do you do that? And to think that they're expecting some glorious, glorified answer, and it, it's really not. I'm just consistently within my points each week. That's it. Some days I do really good at eating fruits and vegetables. Some days I don't. You don't have to be perfect for this to work. Some days I eat fast food. Some days I don't. You know, making things fit. And then because I had barbecue this week, I'm trying to stay within my weekly points or my daily points the rest of the week. Um, I can probably have one more kind of splurge meal because I'm gonna get so many activity points with work. Um, but that's it, Just it's not a sexy answer. Just eat within your points, choose the things that matter to you, find what those foods are and eat them. <laughs> that's it. I'm almost done, I just wanted to show you real fast just in case you wanted the option. I made my husband a quesadilla. I just put like cheddar cheese and then the pork on top and then a Mexican shredded cheese. If you had like a Oaxaca cheese, oh, it would be so good. Mozzarella would be good in here. So if you're looking for a different option and you love cheese, make it into a quesadilla. So I'm, a salad is not enough to fill him up. So I'm adding some quesadilla and some the extra rice and stuff on the side of his just to help bulk up the meal. So here is my bowl. I just weighed out my rice, as you can see. So I have about two cups of lettuce, a bunch of corn, black beans, my three and a half ounces of pork, which looks like a lot whenever it's shredded, and then my 27 grams of rice. And then I'm going to, uh, two tablespoons is two points of this dressing. So I'm gonna do 30 grams on here. I just think it's easier. I say that, but watch me like, oh God, do that. That's what I was scared of. Maybe it's not easier. I feel like you get more though. Oh, look at that. Wow, probably couldn't do that again if I tried. Tell me that does not look delicious. Let's give this a try. Try to get like all, all the stuff in one bite. And we gotta get a little guy with it. Mm. 10 out of 10, what do I recommend? Yep, that's so good. There's so much flavor. I like that dressing, I've never had it before. I've tried their ranch, I used to like it a lot. I kind of burned myself out of salads because I had them so often, but uh, I never tried that one because I don't love cilantro, but it's good. All right, I have one point left over. We are having dessert, so stay tuned so you can see what the heck it is. Not to mention, I'm also having just a little thing of the fat-free refried beans on this side, just in case. I might not need it. This might be enough, but we had it in the fridge, so I might as well just rewarm it up uh, since it is leftovers. I love cleaning out a fridge. As promised, dessert. Ignore the fact that the dishes are being done. I'm going to have an apple, and I was originally thinking mixing up some peanut butter powder for one point and having some apple and peanut butter. But then I thought, you know what else I have? I have the sugar-free cheesecake and I have not had my delicious yogurt mixture. And I would like to have one tomorrow at work as well. So I can go ahead and make up this, uh, the zero point yogurt with the cheesecake and the ready whip have it as an apple dip and then make extra for tomorrow at work. So it's a, it's like a double win, a triple win. Cause then I get to bank an extra point for tomorrow because, um, if you are new here or to, to WW, you can have four points each day roll over into your weeklies. So we'll get one point rolled over into our weeklies. And again, we're, we're like, like a little squirrel stuck in those little points up again for a little bit later in the week that I can use and enjoy. I'm excited. I'm first gonna make up the one to have with our apple. And I'm just going to show you how I do it real fast. This is just the plain Greek yogurt. I have less of it. It doesn't really matter how much Greek yogurt you have because it's a zero point food. What matters is how much of the Jello and other stuff you make if you want it to be zero points. Now you can have four grams of this Jello mix for 
zero points. So I'm going to do eight grams because I'm gonna split this with my husband. It'll be fine. So I'm gonna zero that out and then you can have nine grams of this for zero points. So I'm gonna do 18. And then just a splash of whatever milk you like. I normally use almond milk, but I'm out. So I'm just going to use regular milk. I'm using so little, I'm not even going to count it. I had someone uh, message me about trying it with chocolate sugar-free Jello. If you did that, let me know in the comments. Because I have the chocolate here. I just haven't been brave enough. I don't know what's stopping me. It'd probably be good as a dip with apples too, but here we are. <clears throat> These are just the little mason jars I'm gonna use tonight to dip with our apples. Here is our little dessert, and then I have two for work. I also have some vitamin C with my last serving of Ovacetol in it. My husband is already eating his and he said it was really good, so let's see. Mm-hmm. Why haven't I done this before? That's delicious. Especially because you have so little yogurt that cheesecake flavoring is really, really concentrated. You should give this a try. Also, I wanted to say on that pork salad, next time I'm not gonna add black beans. I don't feel like it helped with the flavor at all. I do like that it can help with the fullness, but I do prefer refried beans. So just having a side of the non like fat free refried beans with my salad or even making those into the like old pork nachos with those tortillas and like cooking them in the air fryer like I did. <coughs> I think nachos, that might be, that might be the way to do it, honestly. And just have some corn and beans and stuff on the side. All right. We ended up with 22 points today. I'm really happy with how this day went. I'm tired. Me and my husband are going to watch some Mandalorian. I'll see y'all next time.